this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this um, static logo this is the CPG Gray's um, logo from YouTube into a animated logo let me see if I can find it right over here and it looks like this it's pretty nice and um, I'll make it I'll show you how to make it look smoother when you have it transition if uh, enough people like this video I'll show you how to make this um, particular image in Inkscape, Inkscape. That's because um, these particular shapes cannot be uh, properly uh, manipulated or very precisely uh, manipulated in the GIMP picture editor. So if I go to the GIMP picture editor, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and pull out that image over here. Next thing I'm going to do is use the fuzzy selection tool to select the cog. Go ahead and zoom in to make sure you uh, get the fine bits over here. It looks like it didn't really get the uh, get the faded out color, so increase the threshold. But make sure the threshold doesn't select the other area because if I increase it too much, like this, it ends up selecting the whole image like that. So I think like 83 is fine. Yep, that works. So you got the very fine bits enough of it, anyways. So I'll, hit, I'll go ahead and hit Control C on my keyboard, Control V to have a floating selection, and I'll put it to a new layer. And with this, I'm gonna duplicate it first. And if you, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to layer over here, go to transform, and flip it vertically. And you'll notice something interesting. Before that, I'll lower the opacity so I can see the layer underneath, and move. Uh, use the move tool to move this uh, gear up. Now, if I move it up, the interesting thing you'll notice is that it looks like what they did over here is they decrease the um, ends of these cogs um, these uh, they decrease the si outside size of these cogs at the end and made this end a bit thicker that's why it doesn't really properly align so if I go ahead and use the move tool if I try to move it up a bit it does it's, it looks like it's gonna if I try to complete the circle it doesn't really align properly see so you go ahead just align it uh, what's good enough this looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, it doesn't really align properly with the cogs. Yeah, this is the best I can get out of it. So I'll go ahead and make the uh, uh, last layer invisible. Make the top layer uh, full opacity. Oop, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new one from visible. What's visible? Oh, before that. Actually, before that because I don't uh, want to see this uh, extra area, area over here in case anything um, weird like that happens I'm just gonna go ahead and crop the extra shape out I don't wanna have a weird looking cog so this is uh, current layer only make sure you have the top layer selected and just um, uh, cr crop the top half you don't want it to mess with the bottom half so like that and then if I now if I make the new from visible, we have the full gear to work with, the full cog. See, well, it doesn't look too bad. Now the next thing you are going to have to do is copy, uh, make a copy of this uh, particular image so that when the, we rotate the wheel, it looks like the wheel is rotating underneath or, um, you know. So I'll go ahead and use the rectangular selection tool make a rough selection of this area like so and then what you what you're going to have to do is zoom into this cog over here and align it with the cog like so see like that and do the same with the other side and pull this over here I'll go ahead and hit uh, hit enter to make the selection control C and control V to make a floating selection and put this to a new layer like so and now with this uh, layer you'll see that this um, uh, middle cog the middle layer um, will it doesn't look too bad like this so that if I go ahead and rotate it it looks like it's a rotating um, in place without overlapping if you will over the jar where's the rotate okay so this is a rotate tool and another thing you'll have to do is get uh, get rid of the cog from the original picture that just means uh, separate. you'll need a separate layer for the background and a separate layer for the jar. So let's go ahead and use the fuzzy selection tool to uh, select the jar. 
Mm, actually, actually, we can just get rid of the cog, and that would be enough. So I'll go ahead and make a copy just in case, and then go ahead um, use the dropper tool, uh, select this color over here, then use uh, let's see, the brush tool. Where is it? There it is. And go ahead and make a really big brush like this, and just get rid of the cog like that. So it's not like uh, the background color isn't like a really black black. It's like a slightly gray, but really black. I mean, it's slightly uh, off black. All right. So we can. I guess we can get rid of this cog over here. Before that, let me check. Make sure that everything. Yep. All right. Looks like everything is in place. So the next thing you're going to do is go ahead select the middle cog over here, or middle layer, I should say and uh, choose a rotate tool before I start rotating that cog I want to right click and make new from visible choose the middle um, or the cog uh, select, uh, select it and I found that if it makes one full rotation like this it's about looks like this time it's about 36 degrees like so and so before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it just a bit so it doesn't look off that looks a little bit more in the center or what never mind uh, I guess this is as much in the center as it's going to look so I'll go ahead and see what it give me a second so okay for the middle it takes about 37 degrees if you want to um, divide it by 4 let's say if it was 36 it would be 9, degree, uh, nine degrees every turn if you wanted to make a 4 frame I made this into a 9 frame um, animation but just for the sake of demonstration I'll leave it at four, um, 9 uh, or I should say a 4 frame animation with 9 degrees there you go so make sure you have that cog selected change the angle to 9, rotate it and go ahead and uh, make a new from visible again do the same oops is it not make sure you select the cog when you rotate it is it not working? cancel I guess it's a little buggy. That's weird. I'll try it again. Nine rotate. Okay, this time it rotated. All right. So nine degrees. Make sure I have this selected. Rotate it. Make sure you uh, right click and select new from visible to make. Um, every step of the animation and cancel that that looks good enough hmm So ideally, what you would have do, uh, done is whatever uh, amount you would, um, whatever amount comes up, like it came up like about thirty-seven. You would just divided, um, divide that amount by the um, um, number of slides you would want to make out of it. That would have been a better option. Yeah, okay. I think this is good enough. Okay. Go ahead, new from visible. And then you want to just uh, get rid of the top three layers. You don't need those. Those are redundant. Oh, not redundant, just in the way. And let's see. I'll um, get rid of the mid frame animations. I guess I'll get rid of the bottom one. We don't need that. That's also redundant. 
so you have this uh, four frames all you have to do is go to um, file or let's, uh, let's, you wanna, let's see if you can test it first I think this um, picture is a bit too big but let's see so go to filters go to animation right over here go to playback yeah it's a bit too big but you'll notice that uh, it does indeed work so I'll go ahead and export this and show you properly go to export as and gray gray export this make sure you export the with the in um, extension gif go ahead and export it this menu comes up make sure you select as an um, as an animation and it loops forever for since I have only four frames it's okay if the delay between frames is more but if you have a lot of frames you want to make this like a smaller number and uh, test it out and see what works for you so I'll go and it's going let's see alright so let's see over here we have the animation oh we forgot to loop it give me a second file export as export replace make sure you choose loop forever and go ahead export it now if you go ahead and try the gif it looks more or less like a uh, cog that ke uh, keeps rotating thank you for listening if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below i'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel bye